Good morning, landing crew. So today is a Monday, so it means our week has started again. Those things happen every Monday. But today, Noah has some school evaluations. He has them tomorrow too. I'm not putting on makeup this morning just because I don't have time. Um, I've been trying to get everything else ready to make sure that while I'm gone, Lonnie can handle the fort. I think I heard Liam. I think Liam is awake. Good morning. Hey. Yeah? We're still working on their room, but it's looking better. Don't cry. We woke up sissy too, didn't we? All right, Noah, let's go, buddy. You ready to go, Noah? Uh-huh. What are we gonna do today? Uh, we're gonna go test for my school. Good job. That's, a, that's like a mansion school. This district has its own testing center, which is pretty neat. We are 15 minutes early, which is good. High five, Noah, high five. We are gonna have a good day. In the past, Noah, it usually took him about six months to complete this testing. So we're doing it in two days. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about this, but it's 10 to 3 today, 10 to 3 tomorrow. But also Noah's older and he's awesome and he's 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 gonna do a great job, right Noah? Uh-huh. So I already told him, I said, testing days are not fun days, but they have to happen for you to go to back to school. And if you're kind of wondering what tests we're doing, we're doing basically the IQ test and then we're also doing the ASD test as well just because his testing in his IEP is way out of date every three years you have to redo it his is like four or five years old so we're gonna go do that today I am kinda excited kind of ready to get this over I wish I brought my sprite now well maybe they'll let us take breaks and stuff or I don't know we will figure it out any mistakes we make today Noah we will fix it tomorrow okay high five let's go so S and then that, the that letters? Not? Yeah. What's the S stand for? Because that just makes it more than one dog. Because previously it said, I like dog. Because there's no S, we can't say I like dogs. Yeah. Oh, she's swimming. Yeah. How is she not cold? I don't know, because we were in Wyoming, so it was super cold. When mom saw the cookie plate, she said to her son, the magician was at work again, I see. What had happened? Many hours later. How was it, Noah? It was good. So Noah did his occupational and speech eval for the school today. If you've never done a, a speech evaluation for the school when you're older, it is not fun. Was it easier when I was younger? Yes. When you're younger, you're expected to have less, less vocabulary. So there's less to do. Well, the good thing I like about this is not only do they do like speech well, and language. I wanted them so how good I was writing. You did good. That was occupational therapy. That was OT. But what I like about here is not only do they do speech and language, but there's also a part of him understanding like figurative language, sarcasm and things like that. Like it's kind of part of social skills in a way, but they actually include that. I'm calling Danielle. It so was, Danielle, the back of her mouth is like really, really sore. I think her wisdom teeth is coming through. I think she has a, a dental surgery in her near future. <laughs> the next day. Good morning, guys. So today is the second day of notice testing. But before we even get to that, I have Penelope's telehealth appointment that I'm about to be late for and there's no excuse to be late to a telehealth appointment. We didn't even have time for pigtails this morning. We had to settle for a ponytail. Many, many minutes later. Do you have a phone? You have a phone? Look, it, it goes to your ear. No, you don't eat the phone. So I'm done with the genetics appointment, which probably the easiest appointment, <laughs> easiest appointment for Penelope yet, just because I already know so much about the microdeletion the boys have, you know. But they're going to go ahead and order her blood test. The developmental pediatrician is also ordering some other some other like metabolic tests. Different levels for her nutrition as well. Probably end up taking her later today if Noah's testing ends early like it did yesterday. And then also they are gonna send Alani and I swabs. They can do genetic testing through swabs now, which is really, really cool. She said that she doesn't like testing the other family members if they're not affected until 18. So 
Let's go get Noah. Uh, she hasn't been seen by anyone there because we just moved here like a couple months ago. So she's a new gotcha. patient across the board. 8.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, check-in at 8.15. So she'll need to be on an empty stomach. There's nothing to eat or drink after midnight tonight. That's including water. So no water, no food. Great, thank you. We will see you tomorrow morning. Well, I thought that I was gonna get a sleep in the morning, but Danielle, as I said, her wisdom teeth are coming through, so they are going to do the surgery in the morning. So what we're gonna- coming out? Her wisdom in the very, very back. You don't have wisdom teeth. Sissy is in a lot of pain, so we wanna get well, her out of pain. The They're very quick here, man. Guys, I'm not kidding when I said I had to wait seven weeks in Florida to have my wisdom teeth taken out. I was seven weeks in pain. That is a car So Noah did some work and he's taking a break, playing some Pokemon, right Noah? Is that Pokemon? They're just taking a break. I got an email from a private preschool here, kind of in the area, <laughs> that we are looking for for Liam and Penelope. And so we're kind of starting that process. So that's kind of exciting. There's a waiting list for it, but still I'm really, really excited about it. I'm editing. Might as well get some work done while we're here. And then after he's done, I'll take Penelope to the children's hospital to get her blood done. How was it, Noah? That's good. Decent. Noah did really good. He did way better today than yesterday, but in his defense today was a bit more interactive. So we are we're gonna going go. to go home. Well, actually, we're going to go grab him something to eat. Then I'm going to go grab Penelope. Thankfully, she only needs one prick. I ate one pancake burger and I'm and I, I'm still not hyper. You did great. The psychologist was amazing. One was like um, really nice and then the other one was like super happy all the time. You know, she needs to see Noah in his natural habitat with like other people, like the kids and stuff. So she's like, I don't know if you can take some videos. And usually I actually don't tell people that we have a channel. I don't know. I just don't plug our channel in like that. Lonnie does all the time. But in that situation, I was like, well, if you want to see him in his natural habitat, go on our channel. They'll actually be able to tell me what grade level Noah is and everything. A few moments later. Funny thing happened. First, we, saw we ran into... Shay's friend. Yeah, Shay's friend Lori. So we actually met uh, two people who live in this area through kind of like our channel and things like that. Also, I was leaving the Del Taco drive through and Noah yelled at the lady, have a nice day. And I was like, Noah, you're so sweet. And what did you say, Noah? Guess who's raised you? He says, well, guess who raised me that way? So Lonnie's gonna bring Penelope out here so I don't have to go all the way in the house and all of that. Noah did so amazing today. I think it was a little bit emotional. I'm getting a little bit choked up thinking about it, but like his last IEP, what is on there is not the same child we have now. And it's so amazing what a difference four years can make. The psychologist that was evaluating him said that she didn't think that he would even be under the intellectual disability label anymore, which is crazy to think about. I'm just so, so proud of him. He's doing so well. I cannot wait to see how he does in school. When he was doing the academic part, I thought that was the part that he's gonna get so frustrated with, and he was just so focused and, and wanted to do it so right. He's about to be 13, which I cannot believe he's about to be a teenager, but I remember when he was three or four and we kind of figured out that, hey, he was gonna have a, a disability the rest of his life. If you would have told me that I would have an almost 13 year old like I do now, it would have given me hope. So I hope it gives other people hope out there. And then we got my my beautiful little girl, my handsome husband. She's gotta get, sh gotta get shots. I am glad they're doing it with just one prick though. They're gonna do a bunch of tests. Try to get us just some more answers. She's been expecting things to come back, but of course she wants to do this as a routine just in case. She said that everything that's going on with Penelope and all of her diagnosis is she feels just probably linked to this genetic micro deletion. Hang on, baby. Is that better? Is that better? The sun is not fun today, is it? She is not happy. You're just gonna move on, yeah? It's okay. A 
few moments later. We're going home now. Well, that was absolutely horrible, but we got it done. I honestly think Penelope hated being held down more than the prick, but they had so many vials of blood they had to get from her. And they also had to get a urine sample too. But thankfully, they were on top of it because they put the bag on her. So she put the urine bag in her diaper before doing the blood in hopes that getting her blood from her would make her mad and make her go pee, which it did. So we don't have to worry about that. Hopefully it's enough. Liam was, I think, five weeks old, four or five weeks old when he got his genetic testing done. But this was more than just genetic testing. This was a whole panel of things that they're doing to roll out a million different things. We are done. We're going home. ABA is at the house with Lex. It's not one thing, guys. It's another. It's all better with daddy. <laughs> What a day. What a day. I think the babies are settling down. <sighs> Tomorrow is Danielle getting her wisdom teeth pulled out. That will not be fun for her, but she's in a lot of pain right now, so I'm sure she's kind of ready for that to be over. I'm so glad that all of these testings and evaluations are done uh, for Penelope. All I really have left for her is just a few odds and ends, like a social worker appointment, just little things. But as far as like the big things, this is basically it. I still have to take Liam to get a little bit of blood work. They're just testing a few things like his vitamin D, his ferritin levels, those kind of things. But I appreciate you guys coming along with us. I'm so glad that Noah is done with the school evals on Friday. He has this physical therapy one, but I don't think that will be, I don't think that will be hard at all. I'm hoping July is a little bit, a little bit slower. We love you so, so much. And we're not gonna see you tomorrow. No, no, no. But we will see you the next day. Where you move make me blind You will always be there There's no doubt in my mind You will always be